Hi guys, so many of you may not know this, but I am actually a senior in high school. So I thought I would share with you my words of wisdom um, for avoiding senioritis and kind of making your way through high school, as well as giving you kind of a what's in my school bag video, which I'm just going to kind of run through quickly because I really don't keep a lot of stuff in my school bag. Well, I don't think so. I try to simplify it. So this is the school bag I have, and it is from Urban Outfitters. And I got it kind of before school started over the summer. So, and I think it was on sale, maybe. Um, just online. And it has a pocket here, but I don't use it. I have a pocket here, but I don't use it. pocket here that I don't use either. And a zip-up pocket that I don't use either. And I don't use any of that because I'm paranoid that when I'm in the hallway, I feel like someone's going to reach in and take something. And I really hate for that to happen. Um, yeah, in my school the hallways are really crowded all the time, and then it's like, if you have to go the opposite way, you're like a salmon going upstream, and that's annoying, um, too, so I try not to do that either. So in the front, also when you open it up, there's another pocket, and in here is where I like keep snacks and stuff, so these are just like plastic bags that I can throw out that had snacks in them. This one had a donut. That's kind of gross. This one had, looks like a chocolate cookie, chocolate chip cookie. This one had some mini wheats, strawberry mini wheats. And this one has a pop tart. And then I have like a hall pass. That's cool. Flipped onto this pocket right here. I have a class that is like, you're kind of like a teacher's assistant. Um, so you do that for a period of day. So that's my badge for like the hallways and stuff if I have to go make copies and stuff. So I keep that clipped on there. And um, then going into my large pocket, so right here, I have my water bottle from Atlantis when I went over the summer, which is super fun. And I won this playing bingo, which is pretty cool. And it screws off like this. It kind of spills like sometimes, like it drips a little bit. But I like it because I can put a lot in here and it's just reusable. And that's super groovy because I like trying to be go friendly if I can. Okay, and then on the side there are two little pockets up here. And I have another plastic bag that must have had Cheez-Its in it. So I guess I'm just going to start cleaning out my bag too. That would be productive. I have my makeup bag, which I'll show you in a moment. And I also have this pencil bag, too. They are the same, except my pencil pouch has pink lining, which is kind of dirty just from using it. So there's a hall pass I can throw out. And I have post-its in here. This is my pencil pouch. I have the star post-it notes, and then when reading a book for class, I take a pencil and write an arrow right here, and then I use like the star to point where I left off because I use post-its as bookmarks instead of an actual bookmark because I find they're more helpful and I can point to exactly what line I'm on. Then I have a pencil sharpener because a lot of my classrooms, the pencil sharpeners don't work, and that's really annoying. And I have a highlighter. This highlighter is super cool, actually. You can't even really see, but it's like super fluorescent orange. I like that. Then I just have like a Sharpie and some pens and pencils, which is quite boring, I suppose. And then I have these pens are my favorite. They're kind of like markery pens. So I like that. So that's really all that's in my pencil pouch. In my little makeup bag I bring to school, this, the lining is blue. So it seems like it should be the other way around, doesn't it? Like pink should be makeup, but I don't know. I just didn't feel like doing that. So I have my concealer I bring to school just if my under eye, my under eye concealer 
kind of starts to wear off a lot and also if I have a blemish or something or just like under my chin seems to get a little darker sometimes. These are more for during the summer but I have like later in the school year clean and clear or oil absorbing sheets and these just pop open and then they have little blue sheets and you can pat them on your forehead and stuff like after gym and it takes all your oil off and doesn't mess up your makeup although this year I have last period gym so that's pretty cool so I don't have to be uh, oily for the rest of the day then I keep a little body lotion this is the Victoria's Secret Midnight Dare body lotion and it just says it's raspberry and sandalwood scent if that helps just because it's small that's really it then I had to have two chapsticks and a little lip tint if I need it and I have a little baby nail file if I get annoyed with my nails throughout the day really then I have this hair tie which I don't really use it's like a headband thing just in case I wanted I guess and bobby pin and then just some little pain relief pills Advil which I don't I've never used but I just thought they'd be good to have because they're so small this is all trash I have my book for English we're reading Frankenstein actually I already finished it but we still have it because we're going to have a test and more trash then I have another pouch this I just keep I like putting things in pouches and I do that in my purse too um, it just helps me be more organized and in here I just keep my iPod and earphones so they don't get ripped apart or something if they get stuck in my bag and I know where they are um, then I have a folder which I use for my law class actually in here I have my art project which is not the best but here it is they're little fish it's not very good it's supposed to be demonstrating the color wheel so like monochromatic, analogous, complementary, split complementary, triadic, and tetradic, if you're interested, which that's probably not very interesting. Anyway, so I have that folder. Then I have, all my folders are really beat up because it's the end of the year. So just keep that in mind. This is like my art folder that I keep handouts and stuff in. So this one's really beat up. It got all cut up with the X-Acto knife too, and it looks like a little rabid dog or something bit it. So, I don't know, that's that. I just put little art notes and stuff in there, along with my sketchbook, but that stays at school. And then this is my folder, which is, um, I wanted them all to be white, which is not the best idea, but I wanted them all to be white because then that keeps me from doodling all over them so that's why I do that but they look kind of beat up now so this is for my psychology class okay and then I have my folder for my English class which is the same as the last one and then I just keep a five subject notebook which is really kind of a waste for me but I just really use it for my math class and just the loose leaf that it has and also just like doodling if I'm bored or something, which I don't really do. There aren't very many doodles in here, but I like to think that I doodle sometimes. And then the rest of my bag is just all plastic bags from snacks and a lone pencil that I can put back in the pencil pouch. And then in here, there's also like a little pocket right here that I put like my phone in there and I put my ID pouch which ooh, also I have in my actual purse I have like a little Vera Bradley thing 
it has like my ID in it, but I'm not gonna show you that anyway. So, and then I just put like um, a dollar or two in there just in case I wanted to get like ice cream or something in school lunch. And then I also put my house keys in there and this fell off my keychain. It was my pink lucky rabbit's foot, but I don't think it's very lucky anymore since the foot fell off. So that kind of defeats the purpose of it, doesn't it? That is all that's in my school bag actually, guys. Uh, probably not very interesting, but oh, that's it. So now, because I am a senior, I have learned kind of the tricks and trades of going through high school, and I can do a whole another video on bullying, but I don't really want to get into that now just because I can do a whole video on it. This is just going to be focused more on being productive and... Avoiding senioritis, really, because I know a lot of my friends have caught the senioritis bug, and I haven't, really, um, just because of what I've been doing, which is staying on task. Um, if I'm given an, if I'm given an assignment that is due and weak, I'll do it within the next two days that it, I got it and I'll turn it in ahead of time. And that not only feels good for me, it's like um, a self-accomplishment kind of thing that I'm really happy about. It also looks really good for your teachers, or to your teachers, because they know that you're really dedicating yourself to the schoolwork. And it's I'm kind of competitive with it, too, a little bit, in the sense that I'm like, okay, I'm going to be the first one to do this. And I feel really good about that, which, I mean, it's not good to be super competitive, but it's not like I'm gloating to everyone that, oh, haha, ha, I turn in first. It's just more of like an internal thing that I feel good about myself because it is my senior year. I knew that people would be getting the senioritis, um, which, if you don't know what that term is, is basically that it's a term used to say that you're really lazy just because you're a senior you think you don't have to do anything you are just waiting until you can get to college and you blow off all your schoolwork and stuff I wanted to make it easier for myself so when I chose my classes so this is a tip for all you juniors um, if you're a senior this probably won't help because your school year is almost over um, if you're a junior and you're about to pick your classes pick classes that are not gonna freak you out try to even if you're a sophomore, take the classes you need to do as a junior. Your junior year is probably going to be your hardest. Um, then you can kind of have a more laid back year as a senior. So what I did is the only classes I have to pass, which I'm passing all my classes anyway, the only classes that I need to pass this year to graduate are gym, which is, come on, um, and some people don't change for gym, which is just silly because then you, you're you stuck again. You're stuck a year back. Um, that's how it works in my school. So change for gym. Check, because I do that every day. And so I just need to pass gym in English. In English, I have an A in because I really dedicate myself to my schoolwork. If I have reading logs due for whatever book we're reading, I do it. If she gives extra credit, I'm done that night. Um, and I'm also kind of a perfectionist with my schoolwork. Um, I'm not rushing through it just to do it. I really do it thoroughly and put my time into it. I won't, like, there'll be time. So make it easier on yourself. I knew that I only need to pa pass those two classes, so those are the only ones I did. And then I chose four electives which is just kind of fun. So, and they're not super difficult classes. I mean, I took one AP class just like as an elective, just because I wanted to kind of bounce off my schoolwork so I wouldn't just be like, oh, well, I only need to pass gym and English so I can totally slack off now. I put the AP class in so I'm kind of balanced out. So the really, the only two classes I really have to work in are my AP class and my English class. So that's a way that you can make it easier on yourself. With these five subject notebooks, 
get one because it keeps it easier for yourself from having to carry three notebooks, 18 folders, blah, blah, blah. Just get a one five, su one five subject notebook and you can use it for all your classes. I thought I would use it for more of my classes this year, but I really don't because I get outlines in all my classes or I have to do all my work on a worksheet and turn it in. So a five subject notebook is definitely helpful. Another thing is just to be productive. Um, which I kind of went over before with being on, staying on task. But being productive, um, if you know you have a research paper due and you have a week left to do it, do it instead of whatever else you want to be doing. And you'll feel a lot better when your friends are all freaking out and you're like, I did that a week ago. I already turned mine in. I'm set. I can go watch my favorite TV show instead of having to worry about it. And also by doing it, like getting a head start on it, you're kind of like splitting up your work, which is another thing. You can split up your work, which is not really something that I like to do. I like to just sit down and try and do it all, um, which probably isn't the best, but that's just how I work. But another thing you could do is to just split up your work over a course of a week. If you have a week to do it, do it a little bit at a time each night, which is what I'm trying to say. Also, utilize your study hall time if you have extra time at the end of your class period. I see kids that are using their cell phones, sleeping, blah blah blah, at the end of class or during study hall. It is not your sleeping period. If you finish your schoolwork during school, you can come home and instead of having to stay up which would make you sleep during your study hall period, you can sleep then at home because you've already finished your work during your study hall time. So I'm the only one in my study hall that works on something every day. Um, and then everyone else really sleeps and I don't understand. <sighs> Breathe. Okay, I think that's really all I needed to say. If you have any tips for freshmen, uh, seniors, any school grade, um, leave those in the comments, and that's all I really have to say right now, I think, kind of out of breath. I will do a whole nother video on bullying, uh, throughout my life, I suppose, um, if you want, or any other topics you want to know about, whether it be friends, ditching you for whatever reason, or like friends versus friends, which I've dealt with, or boys. Don't let boys be a distraction, is what I'm going to say for right now. But if you just have general questions about boys, leave a comment about that. And maybe I'll just put a whole video together about boy questions. That would be pretty interesting, I guess. Even if you have like a specific scenario that you're going through, you can inbox me if, if you'd like to remain anonymous. Um, I like giving advice, so I feel like this is something I can do. Um, just going to start with high school topics right now because I'm in high school and that's easiest for me right now. So um, yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day and do well in school. I hope this helps you. If you have any tips, leave them below or anything else you want help with. Um, I'm not like certified in giving help, but I can just kind of tell you what I've done um, in experience and other people's scenarios that I've seen happen. So I hope you have a nice day. Bye.